All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I've been going through this 10-part presentation on the MVC3 music store that we're trying to upgrade to MVC5. We're in the middle of lesson five, so we're almost halfway through. We're on edit forms and templating. Now, near the beginning, and I've got to remember where I was here, so I'm on HTML helpers to display the drop-downs to create view. So this particular lesson, which is 27 pages, all right, I am on the bottom of page 13, so I'm almost halfway done here. But I wanted to do something first, and that is this. I wanted to come back to here, where I was, and I wanted to, and this is the project that's been completed, and I wanted to open here. I wanted to go over to my views, and I wanted to look under store manager, and I wanted to open up every one of these. All right, so this is the index. I've already got that. This is the edit, and I don't know if they're going to tell us to, that they want us to put this in or not. This is the details. This is the delete. And this that they're going to talk about now is the create. So this is what I'm going to try to do. And I've got to remember these myself here. So give myself a little cheat sheet. And I want to put in here, I want create.cs cs html i want delete dot cs h h c s html i want details dot cs html and i want edit dot cs html all right so i want those four files Okay, this is the path from which I want them. So I'm going to try something here. So I'm going to do a file, save a copy as, that's fine. But I want this path. So I want, oh, is this ugly? I'll, tr I'll see if I can find it. That's going to be much easier that way. So I'm going to do this. I am going to grab those four files right now. I'm hoping that inside of here, so I've got, for my store manager, there's my store manager. Do I have a, uh-oh. I should have had a store manager here, too. So I guess I'll need all of those. All right. Oh, there it is, store manager. I've got the index, and I think that one is complete as it is. Now, I'm getting these errors, and I'm hoping that they're going to clear themselves up when I finish the rest of the project here, but we're going to see. So under store, I'm going to do an add existing item and I'm going to go back to my desktop I'm going to go back to the master I want views for the store manager all right and again the ones that I'll need are these four create delete Notice that here, under Store Manager, which is where I'm going to want to put these. So, you cancel. This is where I want these. Right mouse click, Add, Existing Item, MVC Music Store Master. I may have to make some changes to these. I don't know. Views. Store Manager, start with Create. All right, so we now have that here. This, again, will have to be a big MVC, and there may be other things that we have to change. I don't know. So that's the first one. Right mouse click again, Add, Existing Item. Oops. So we've got our Create. Now we want the Delete. Add. Let's bring that one up. Again, let's change this to a big MVC. All right. Hopefully that's going to fix everything. Let's do a save all because we haven't done that for a while. Right mouse click again. Choose add. Choose existing item. 
And so, so far we have added create and delete. So now we want details. We've now got that. We again want to make this big MVC. All right. And I'm not, again, I'm not sure if any of this is going to work, but we're trying it anyway. Finally, store manager, add existing item. I believe the one we want left is edit, but let's see. Edit. Our index should already be there, and it should be okay. So again, this has got to be a big MVC. All right. So I'm going to save all, and there we go. All right. I'm not sure if I should have done that or not, but we'll see as we go on. So this is where I am. Since we talked about how the drop-down values are passed to the view, let's take a quick look at the view. And it says, you'll see in there that we've got this. This is another one of those HTML helper methods. A helper method is a utility method. What that means is it's a pre-written method that basically Microsoft has created for you to help you, as it says here, perform a common task. HTML helpers are useful in keeping code concise and readable. The drop-down list HTML helper is provided by ASP.NET MVC. But as it says, later we'll see it's possible to create our own helpers. We'll talk about that much later. Oops. The HTML drop-down list call needs just to hold just two things. All right, where to get the list to display and the value, if any, that should be pre-selected. The first thing where to get the list to display is our genre ID, which tells the drop-down list to look for a value named genre ID either in the model or in the view bank. The second one says that initially the drop-down list will be empty, which makes sense because this is a create, so we don't want to pre-populate anything unless we knew that something should indeed be pre-populated. All right. Then it says there, as we discussed before, there's two common actions associated with each form. The first handles get and displays the form. The second is a post, which contains the submitted form values. Notice that the controller action, all right, says here, this controller action right there, says that this should respond only to post requests. So I'm going to grab this for right now, and I'm going to copy it to the clipboard, because I think we're going to add it in just a minute. So it says this action has four responsibilities. First, read the form values. Second, check if the form values pass any validation rules. Third, if the submission is valid, save and display the updated data. If it's not valid, redisplay the form with validation errors. All right. So again, let me cheat here by going back and looking at our store manager controller, we've got the index, we've got the details, we've got that create, and I think now we want this create. All right, so that's what it looks like at least. So I'm going to come back here into my store manager controller and down near the bottom here, that still bugs me, but hopefully that's going to be fixed. All right, and I'm, post, I'm uh, putting that in. Notice I get the DB artist, I get a mistake on both of those. All right, again, I'm going to do a save all because why not? All right. Okay, reading form values with model binding. Now, I'm on page 15 of 27 of this particular handout, and I'm already probably coming up to 10 minutes on here. Pretty close. So I'm probably not going to finish this. This will probably have to be a three-part presentation. You know what? That's just fine. All right. Reading form values with model binding. The controller action, as it says, is processing a form submission that includes values for genre ID and artist ID, all right, from the drop-down list, and text values for title, price, and album art URL. While it's possible to directly access those, form values, a better approach is to use model binding, which is built into ASP.NET MVC. As it says, when a controller action takes a model type as a parameter, ASP.NET MVC will attempt to populate an object 
of that type using form inputs. It does this by looking for values whose names match the properties of the model object. For example, when setting the new album object's genre ID, it looks for an input with the name of genre ID. When you create views using the standard models in ASP.NET MVC, the forms will always be rendered using property names as input field names, so the field names will match up. The model will be validated with a simple call to model.isValid. You already saw that right here. We haven't added any validation rules to our album class yet. We're going to do that either later in this lesson or in one of the next lessons. All right. So right now, this check doesn't have much to do. What's important is that this model stat, and I think that's a mistake, I think that should be state, dot is valid check will adapt to the validation rules we put in the model, so future changes to validation rules won't require any updates to the controller. Good thing. If the form submission passes validation, then it's time to save the values to the database. This just requires adding the model to the albums collection and calling save changes. It's the equivalent of coming in and adding a record. All right. Entity framework generates the appropriate SQL commands to persist the value, which means we want it to exist after we leave, even after we close down the application. After saving the data, we redirect it back to the list of albums so that we can see the update. This is done via the redirect action, and that's what you saw right here. So this means it worked. So write it out, save it, and return back so we can see the change. This means it didn't work, so just basically show what you showed before. Again, if it was invalid, the drop-down values are added to the, to the view bag and the bound models are passed back to the view for the display. Validation errors will automatically be displayed using the validation message, uh, which I think that we're going to put in a little bit. All right. So we are up to testing the created form. Again, on the handout here, I'm on page 16. Now. This is either going to be really good or it's going to be a cluster because I've added so much stuff manually that I could have broken anything at any time. So I'm going to save all, build, build the solution. And I'm hoping that that worked and that I don't have any errors. I do have errors. I have a lot of errors, so let's go back. I want to try to see if we can fix any of those. Error list. All right, notice, well, according to this, this one might be a simple fix. Nope. mvcmusicstore.models.album. Where is my album? MVC Music Store Models Album. Should be there. Sorry, it's the last last presentation here. It does not exist in the namespace with a little MVC. I don't understand that. I don't see a little. Let's try this. Control H. M. V. C. Music. Store. All right, that's the first one. And it says that's it. So I don't understand why it's giving me an error for a little M. V. C. I don't. See, it's not listed in there anyplace else.
which says to me that someplace in here I've got MVC in the namespace MVC models. Are you missing an assembly reference? Now, this could be because all these were copied in. Now, that's got a big MVC. That has a big MVC. That has a, a big MVC. All of these, I believe, are, are correct, rather. And that has a big MVC. Now, could it be because I copied those over directly that somehow this is hosed? I don't know. I'm going to try this. I'm going to grab every bit of this. Control A, Control C. I'm going to go over here and new file, Control V, Control A, Control X. Delete all that, paste it in again. All right, and I'm going to do a save. That's the create. I'm just going to do these in order. Control A, Control C to copy. Control V, Control A, Control X. Delete, Control V. Save. Control A, Control A, Control C. What I'm just wondering, and I don't know enough about this, that what I'm saying, what I'm doing here may be just stupid, for lack of better words, but what I'm wondering is if by chance, all right, this somehow got hosed during the copy over. I don't know why it would have. Oh, I'm going to do that. Oh, oh, that I'm doing the wrong ones. I want to do the ones under store manager. So, hello, Jeff. So let's try that all over again. There's create. Control A, Control C. Here's the delete. Details. Edit. Now, why am I doing all this? I mean, why did I just do what I did? All right? And that's the question. Let me save first on everything and do a build build solution. All right, I'm going to look at my error list. I cut down the errors. There were more before. All right? And now it looks like a lot of these things that are here are in my index file and in my store manager controller. And what I was wondering, it got rid of all those ones that we had before with a little MVC, or M little V little C. And I was wondering if that's because when I copied the stuff over, by copying it over directly, somehow I screwed something up. All right. Music store entities does not contain a definition for artists. And it's basically, it's the same error on lines 38 and 54. So it's there, and it's there. 
All right. So let's try this. I just want to see something. DB dot. And when we look there, we've got albums, but we don't have artists. That's why we're getting the error. All right, I'm going to go back and put it back to the way it was. All right, I'm getting an error, and I understand that. All right, and that's saying that our database context class, which we did a long, long time ago, I think that what they're saying is, I'm sorry, the one that's here, all right, doesn't have anything, for, anything in it for artists. And I'm wondering if we're going to have to change that. So, to try to make my life easier, close that. All right. I want to close a bunch of this stuff just because I may need to go back and refer to it later, and I don't want to accidentally write to it. All right, so let, let me do a file, open, and uh, I think there was, there was a model. Music store entities. This is what we're going to need in here eventually. Now, I'm going to add this right now. I thought we'd need an artist. This stuff is for much later, so let's not worry about that now. But let's come in here. Let's add that. Now, by adding that artists in there, okay, I'm going to go back and save, build, build solution, and I'm going to look at my error list again. When it comes back, all right, error list. All right, now everything that's left is in my index.cshtml file. Now I'm over, but I, want, I would like to debug this before we finish up. All right, so you'll notice these items don't see any of this stuff. That's where we're, those are the only errors that we have left. All right, so let me do this. This is going to be problematic for just a second. Don't worry about it if I get errors or whatever. But I want to say this, item dot, and I want to see what it's showing me. And it's showing me nothing. So it's not recognizing any, anything in there. All right? So this, for each var item and model, that's the only thing we've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if we look at our error list, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven errors left. All right. It says, could we be missing an assembly reference? Anything's possible. So let's go back to here. We've got MVC Music Store models. That looks good. Genre. What I'd like to do, and then we'll call this, we'll put this one to bed, so to speak. All right. Didn't get that far on this particular lesson, but it's okay. I'd like, like I said, I'd like to go back over here and open up under my views, store manager, the index.cshtml. Now it's got here helper function to truncate that's something we're going to add a lot later so I don't think I should put that in right now I can it shouldn't hurt anything to do it all right but I want to come back up here and start to look at these model I enumerable again mine is big MVC now I've got wow I've got genre and it has album Is this the right one? I want to double check and make sure I'm in the right file. So this is index.cshtml. If I do a save as, it's in my views, store manager, index.cshtml. And this one is in my music store views, store manager index. If this is model style album, I'm going to change this from genre to album and see after I do don't like the fact that it's still not showing me anything close that those still are not showing 
let's let's go back and double check one more time here. All right, model I enumerable mu MVC music store dot models dot album. All right, view bag title is index index HTML action link create new good table genre artist title price looks good. For each var item in model, display model item, item, genre, name. Don't worry about the truncate, that's what we're doing later. Model item, item, artist name, title. Price, and we've got these three action links at the bottom. Edit, item.album ID, item.album ID, item.album ID. Okay. I'm going to save all, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to rebuild this solution. I don't like the fact that this is looking like it's still wrong right here, so when I go to my error list, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven errors. All right, so I'm going to have to try to debug this, and I'll try to get this done, ideally, by the time I come back so we can run this and see whether or not it works. So I'll be back with that shortly.